Yo, what's going on guys? And we're hearing from Eric Pincus. Competing executives around the league don't expect the Toronto Raptors to retain Gary Trent Jr. Who may opt out of his $18.8 million contract. But he'll need to do his homework to ensure the money available in free agency, which may not be a lock in this market, is going, you know, to be something because if he doesn't test free agency he might opt in and request a trade and again we've talked about it before we've heard that Kelly Oubre is either going to go to a contender or go back to the Charlotte Hornets Dylan Brooks is going to go to a new team and Karis LeVert is supposedly going to be going back to Cleveland and Jalen McDaniels and Max Struess are guys who will make a little bit of above the min minimum. But Gary Trench Jr. is a guy who people probably have a lot of conflicting opinions on. And Gary Trent Jr. trade value is, it's hard to gauge, all right? I think he's a young, talented shooting guard who's shown promise as a scorer and a defender at times in the NBA. His trade value, or even just his contractual value, I think he's a guy who's worth four year, 80 million. I would do that, four years, 80 million. I mean, given that he turns 24 in January 24, 2024, I think he's a guy who's right now, it's, it's interesting because I'm a fan of his. I don't think you give up a player like him because he's a valuable asset for the Raptors. And a talented shooting guard, especially if you tr get a rid of Fred Van Bleep, I don't think it's worth it. I personally don't see this at all being worth them letting Gary Trent leave. But what what are your guys' thoughts on Gary Trent? I mean, this guy a four and five star recruit. He's literally played way better than he did at the start of his career. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong, but let's just pull up these stats real quick to give you guys an eye of what he's done this past, what he's been like almost a 20 point scorer for the last two years, basically really three years, four years. Okay. Crazy thing about it, he spent three years with the Blazers, kind of like how Will Barn was, but yeah, since going to Toronto in 2020, this is a guy 16, 18, 17. All basically, like, it feels like off the bench. And for me, I just think you just can't give up a guy who's still, you know, re recently, what, recently turned 24? Yeah, sorry, I said that he just, he's turning 24. He recently turned 24, so. And his dad was an NBA player. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but I think it's just definitely, definitely one of the things to watch when we're in the off season. That's the video.